Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. Last time, we started making our way over to uh, Laura's hometown, Agram. Oh, huh. I guess Laura wants Rain to teach the uh, Eight Leaves, One Blade school to the uh, Arside school of swordsmanship. Yeah. Maybe, uh, you know, trade off pointers with each other? That'd be nice. Oh, you wanna... Wait, I thought she was just talking to Reen. She's talking to Gaius, too? Oh, huh. Oh, really? Well, I guess, uh, Milliam's thing wouldn't be, uh, of interest to them. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's just a robot just using, like, fists of steel and pounding the crap out of monsters. Oh, yeah. We should have plenty of time. Okay. Lavender? Wait. Oh! 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 She's still caught up with that scent that, uh, Misty slash Vita left on Reen. Huh. I wonder what Emma knows about that. Emma's so mysterious. Scent of Lavender. Does she know Misty? Slash Vita? If I was an opera star, I wouldn't be working on the radio. That seems so odd to me. Maybe she just does it for fun. Well, yeah, of course it would. Oh, oh, that's right, we have two, uh... Changed trains in Berea Hard. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe he'll meet us at the train station. Oh, that is true. Yeah, poor Eusis. Huh. I wonder why that is. Yeah. Well, no news is good news, I imagine. Okay. Oh. Really? Huh. Yeah, I would imagine so. Yeah, and just like all the traditions over in Nord and everything, too. Oh, the Lance Maiden. Yeah. We'll learn more about that in Cold Steel 2 as well as Cold Steel 3. Yeah, I feel the same way. You know, spend a little bit of money in taxes and... Preserve cultural heritage, you know, preserve national parks and stuff like that. I'm all about it. Oh. Personally, I'd rather ride Lammy and fly around and everything. Yeah, or airships or flying snowmobiles, whatever you want to call them. Oh. Huh. I guess they use, like, those bullet trains. Don't they have those in Japan? And I think that they have them in Europe, too. I don't know, they don't have them here. They just have really slow trains built in like the 1800s that still go on coal and everything. It's really ridiculous how behind the times we are as far as public transportation is concerned. Although, I was reading this story about like taking a train across like Canada. Like that seems pretty amazing. I'd love to do something like that. And they had some sort of cabin that had like a glass ceiling, and at nighttime you could just see the stars as you were traversing the prairie. Like, that would just be really nice. Love to do something like that. Okay, so I've already played Blade off screen, so let's go ahead and stop talking. Yeah, I'm done with these people. Oh, well, I guess we're just headed on down to uh, Berea Hard. It would be nice to see Rufus again always like to see him. 
It's a sight for sore eyes, if I do say so myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we don't have a lot of time there in Berehard, either. Oh, that's right, yeah, he, uh, wasn't able to go on our field study. Yeah. Well, maybe you'll have the opportunity to look around in Cold Steel 2. I mean, we do have an entire airship at our disposal. We could fly around everywhere. I love Cold Steel 2. Such a good game. In fact, I've got to say, I feel like Cold Steel 2 is a much better game than Cold Steel 1. Not to say that this is a bad game, I just like the way that they handled exploration in Cold Steel 2. The way that you can kind of, you know, here it's like, you, you know, in this particular chapter, you have to be at Legrom and you can't go back. But in that game, you can go wherever the hell you want to. It's really nice. It's more open world, I guess. Oh, I like the music. This wasn't the music that we got when we first did Beret Hard, was it? I don't think so. It's nice. I wish we got to hear it more often. Oh, we're just going straight across. Well, how convenient. What are you guys standing around for? Get on the train. What are you doing? And nobody else is boarding this train? I don't... Oh! Celine! But she got in a different car this time. Hmm. She's not riding on the top. I wonder why Celine wants to go to Legram. She didn't join Emma on any of the other field studies that uh, they went on. But all of a sudden now she wants to go to Legram? And Emma seems really mysterious, like thinking about Misty and all that, and that lavender perfume, as if she knows something. Maybe Celine knows something too. I don't know. Maybe she's just a regular normal cat. Oh, Milliam's asleep. <laughs> I guess we're going up into the mountains now. Oh. Leanne Sandlot. From Joan of Arc? That's a different Leanne. I love Joan of Arc. Such a good game. A changeling? Huh. Oh. Well, what is it? Do you see something? Oh. Wow. That scenery changed really quickly. I guess we're getting higher up into the mountains then. Well, that and the elevation too. <laughs> Poor Milliam. Wow, they weren't kidding about this fog. It's really thick here. Well, here we are. Milliam seems excited. Oh, and there's Lake Ebel. Or Ebel? I think it's I think it's Ebel. And Longyearbyen Castle in the background there. And that house up there must be uh, Laura's house. You know, she is someone's the son of a baron. Or daughter of a baron, I should say. Or a duke? Maybe? I don't remember. Maybe it's a Viscount. I want to say that her father's called Viscount Arside. I honestly have no clue what the difference is between a Viscount, a Duke, and a Baron. I got nothing here. Oh. And who are you? Oh. Klaus. From Mother 3? No, he looks too old to be that Klaus. Oh, a butler! Are you gonna join our party? That'd be nice. But this isn't Tales of Zillia. 
can't have that either. Oh. Oh. Great. But Laura seems to get along with her father. Shockingly enough, she's like the only one. Oh, okay. Huh. What is it with butlers in these JRPGs who, like, okay, you would think that they've dedicated their entire life to service so that, you know, they would pretty much be good at, I don't know, answering doors and, you know, plating food and cleaning up and dressing people and, you know, that sort of stuff, polishing shoes, whatever it is that butlers have to do. Yet these butlers are all like ridiculously super strong and they can just go around and kick ass and take names and this guy's in charge of like some sword school and everything. Like it's pretty ridiculous. Oh yeah, what is that thing? Oh. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, what? Oh, that must be uh, Leanne Samma, the Lance Maiden, and her two little knights. Oh, the Eisenritter. Huh. Oh, wow. Oh, really? Okay, so uh, he is a Viscount. Oh. Yeah, about ten more greats. And who are you? Oh, I guess it's just her a little, uh, fan club here in town. Well, yeah, I would imagine it's a small town and she is, like, pretty much royalty here. Oh, Yusa seems jealous. Poor guy. Oh, oh, hey, Tovel. Hey, good to see you. And a Bracer Guild, too. I believe, oh, there's Selene, that this is the first Bracer Guild that we've actually come across in this entire game. Well, besides the abandoned one that we had to stay in. Huh, so I guess Tovel's giving us our tasks. That's pretty cool. Legrand reminds me a bit of, like, Scandinavia. Oh, and there's the Arside Training Hall, yeah. Fighting to the death, I guess. Oh, I would imagine so, Laura. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. None of these butlers and JRPGs are. Yeah, that's a really nice place. Yeah, so that, you know, she can look down on everyone. Good for her. <laughs> oh, okay, makes sense. Beautiful chandeliers. Those are really nice. But none of the candles are lit. Well, I guess it is daytime, so they wouldn't have to. Nice paintings there. I guess that one in the background is of Longgren Castle. Huh. Looks like the one on the left looks like a something like a scene from Nord or something. This is so pretty, this nice, beautiful mansion right on the lake with the castle in the background. Like, this is just gorgeous. It's too bad this fog is here to obscure the view. Yes, indeedy do. It is. Oh, okay. So, Leanne Sandlot was there. Huh. 
Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Oh, yeah. I guess to Toval. Probably a professional bracer, I guess. Uh, yeah, Loris talked about this ad nauseum, actually. <laughs> I think that Milliam doesn't really like the guild because um, Osborne was in charge of kind of shutting down all the guild branches here in Erebonia, or at least the vast majority of them, and she works for Osborne. So, just by default, she's not exactly a fan of the guild. Okay, well, let's get on out of here and uh, head down towards the, uh, the uh, guild. Let's see. I'm going to be talking to all these people as usual in an NBC bonus episode, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm not going to worry about going inside of the uh, our side school right over here to the right either. Oh, and there's the church. Very nice, very nice. Let's see. Is this it? No, this is a, a store, and we might as well head on inside of here. I mean, got nothing else to do. Hey there. Uh, let's see. I do want to. Actually, we have plenty of other stuff to do. But, huh. I thought that you had something for sale that I wanted. Uh, I guess not right yet. Maybe later they'll have something. Huh. I could have swore that. Oh! Okay. Wrong person. I have to talk to this guy. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was like, what in the world? I know that there's something that I need to buy. Oh. But that's good, though. Oh, except that you're not getting your deliveries. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, at least. Let's see here, I want to go ahead and buy the Carnelia Reprint Chapter 9. And that's all I really wanted to get there. We'll deal with weapons and armor and stuff like that later. I don't want to deal with that right now. Let's go check out this statue, though. A cross inside a circle. Any idea what it means? No one really knows for sure. There are a number of theories, though. Unfortunately, the meanings of most animus symbols have been lost over time. Huh. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, really? Huh. Oh. Oh. Call for its spirits. It's kind of creepy. Whoa, Milliam, why would you smash him up? Just because it's there doesn't mean that you should smash it up. Seriously, what's your problem? Ugh, you have issues, Milliam. Okay, well, I also want to head inside the inn because there is a recipe that we can get just by talking to this girl. Hey there. Oh, well, what's that? Oh, um, we're just classmates? Really, girl? Seriously? Would you think that she was like a member of a harem or something? Like, come on now. Ooh, refreshing pasta soup. Nice. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Yeah, awesome. And let's head up this back door as well. I think that there's a fishing spot back here. I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. Wow, I didn't think that door out here. <laughs> nice find. Yeah, I guess it's not on this dock. It's probably on the other dock. But there's a fishing spot out here that I will be uh, doing some fishing on. But again, we'll be doing it off screen, probably between episodes. But at least we got that active voice thing in there, so that's something. So let's head on down here and check out these statues as well. 
Yeah, no kidding. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's nice. At least Laura has uh, someone to look up to, it seems. You've got a wharf here? We do. A ferry makes trips between here and the opposite shore. If you cross the lake, you'd be in the Sutherland province, right? And here we have a fishing spot. I'll be doing the fishing spot off screen, though, but I just figured I'd show it off. Okay, but now to actually move on with life. This building is the Legrand branch of the Bracer Guild. So much for moving on, Laura. Can I get inside the damn door? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, good. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh. Oh, really? Huh. Well, why is that, Milliam? Well, that's a good thing, Milliam. Huh. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. But if they're just there to help out the citizens, why would he not like them? That seems rather odd. And who are you? Hey, Toval. Yeah, good to see you. Oh. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you know that Sarah used to be a bracer, and uh, he's a bracer as well. I guess I didn't realize that the game never actually introduced him. Eh, I'm just used to him from uh, Cold Steel 2. Helped us out a ton in there. So, mind getting to our tasks? Oh, were you following us? Oh. Got you. Well, he did give us those clues about the uh, underground waterway and everything. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> How so? Hmm. I can only imagine what Sarah did to repay that debt. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, well that's good. So why are you here? If everybody else left... Well, I mean, I guess if he just works here, this is his way of scraping at the living. Oh. Oh, you're talking about Claire? Yeah. She's also a member of the Intelligence Division, so I guess she's like one of Milliam's co-workers. I think that Claire has an eye on a certain someone, though. Okay. Well, that's nice. father seems like such a good guy.
Oh. Wait, Milliam, how do you know Cassius? Man. You really do get around, don't you? Yeah, that's him. Well, um, yeah, she does do spying for the government, so I guess she would know about Cassius. Huh. So, uh, what do you have? What do you have? Okay, our site's training school about... Uh, for, okay, well, that's something that Laura wanted us to do anyway, so that's fine. Can do. A monster on the Ebel Highway. Okay. The Crocodark? Sure. And then replacing some orbit lights. Wow. That's kind of like uh, some deja vu right there. Didn't we have an orbit light quest in, like, pretty hell? Pretty much like every other Legend of Heroes games. Like, it really feels that way. Oh, I can imagine. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, at least Milliam seems excited. Good for her. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and start on all these quests next time. Let's play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.